in this video we want to talk about the change in the coefficients aij which is again a uh, questions arising in the post optimality analysis so if we consider an lpp whether it is maximization or minimization so here i have considered an lpp or general lpp and let me to call this as the star and we know that this is the coefficient matrix where we can have m number of constraint and n number of decision variable now suppose if we want to change a column or some entry in that matrix a so there are two possibility that can arise whether the change uh, happen in a particular column and that particular column becomes a part of the basic variable or it does not become the pass part of the basis matrix so accordingly it will make a change in the optimal solution because if we look at the optimal simplex table so when we write here basic variables and we write here the solutions now here we write zj minus cj and this is cb into xb but to calculate zj minus cj we always need these scalars so now we can see if there is any change in the coefficient matrix column so this a1 or maybe any other aj or some aj column will get changed if these scalar will get changed so they will contribute a change in zj minus cj so this whole whole table here will get changed depending upon what aij has made a change now there are two possibility either that aij belongs to basic matrix or it does not belong to basis matrix now let's see in a question how these two cases will appear now here i have an example one and i have considered an lpp for maximization where we have four decision variable and three constraint and we have already written the optimal table for this given lpp so i we ha already have the optimal table and now we want to discuss about the change if the coefficient of x2 in second constraint is changed to 2 that means coefficient of x2 that means this 6 so this is a second constraint and here is the coefficient of x2 so this 6 is now changed to 2 and in the second question it has been asked if the coefficient of x1 in the first constraint is changed to 4 so coefficient of x1 in the first constraint which is 8 here so this is now written as 4 now in the two cases in the first case when we are making a change in x2 now we can see clearly from here this table x1 x4 x3 are appearing so x2 is not a part of the basic variable set in the optimal table whereas in the second case it is a part of the basic variable set so we'll take this uh, both the cases one by one now in the first case as we can see the given basic variables are x1 x4 s3 so which i have only picked up directly from the table if these are the basic variable this is the corresponding <coughs> b matrix that we can write from the question so i have written here the coefficients of x1 coefficients of x4 and the coefficient of x3 only by looking the coefficients that they appear in the constraint and if we know what is b we can find what is the b inverse either we can find the b inverse from this matrix or we can look it from the optimal simplex table by knowing that initially this problem must have started with s1 s2 s3 as the slack variable and starting decision variable in the basis matrix so this is the b inverse and we know that x2 is not a basic variable so that means only this whole column will get changed not the old table so we only want to calculate now the corresponding scalars and z2 minus c2 now to calculate these scalars we have we can simply apply the formula b inverse a2 so that's the second column scalar and we have picked up the given b inverse and i am multiplying now a2 but we see here the change in a2 i have changed now this so this was earlier in problem this entry is 6 so you can go back and you can look at that this entry is otherwise given to be 6 so here now I have taken the as it is desired in the question that take the entry as 2 so when we multiply this quantity we get this side 13 by 38 5 by 19 and 119 by 38 and once we know the scalar we can calculate the zj minus cj 
satisfy the usual formula that is cb into b inverse a2 minus c2 and cb is the same cost of the coefficient that we can look from the objective function because x1 x4 s3 are the basic variable and we can see from the objective function the cost of x1 is 3 the cost of x4 is 7 and the slack variables cost is 0 so we have this as 3 7 0 multiplied by the scalars that we have just found in the previous step and minus 4 this turns out to be minus 43 by 38 which is negative so if this is negative and the current problem was for maximization so this has disturbed the optimality so once this has disturbed the optimality we rewrite this simplex table and we enter x2 variable in the basis and we remove the sum variable by minimum ratio rule as we usually do in the simplex method and then we carry out simplex and row operations to find the optimal solution so that change needs to be then reflected in the simplex table now in the second case if the coefficient of x1 in the first constraint is changed to 4 so we see here this is the b matrix and here the coefficient of first constraint is 8 and this is now we are supposed to keep this as 4 so b matrix so this is old b where we have this entry as 8 and this is new b where we have now the entry as 4 because now this change is actually appearing in the basis so that means the b inverse has changed so from here this new b we must need to calculate what is b inverse so we calculate first b inverse and then we substitute this in the table by calculating what is b inverse a1 but is b inverse a2 and so on and we also calculate the x b b inverse a b each time we calculate now this new scalar they make a change in the z1 minus c1 because zj minus cj have this quantity which is b inverse aj so if there is a change in this so automatically there is a change in zj minus cj so we calculate a new zj minus cj row in fact this whole table has to be recalculated if there is some aij which has changed and it is a part of the basic variable so once we calculate this we again need to look at the optimality criteria whether zj minus cjs are greater than or equal to zero or not if they are not then we apply usually simple iter simplex iteration or the row operations if needed from here onwards so from here onwards the question carries on later uh, as usual but the two things which are very important if it is a part of the basic variable then almost the whole table get changed and the question almost restart as we started in the first case.